Greetings, welcome to this new video about Norton's theorem. In this video, I will show you how to use Norton's theorem with an easy to follow example. By watching carefully, you will learn how to apply Norton's theorem to solve practical problems. Let's get started with solve the problem number one. Let's consider this network consisting of three resistors labeled R1 through R3 as well as one independent voltage source Vs and one independent current source Is. The question now is to find the Norton's equivalent with respect to terminals A and B. Let's move on to the solution by applying the Norton's theorem between terminals A and B we can replace this circuit with the current source in parallel with the resistor, which will be denoted as IN and RN. I will start first with the determination of the Norton's resistance RN. This step can be done by removing all independent sources in the circuit, which means the voltage source VS will be replaced by a short circuit and the current source IS will be replaced by an open circuit. The Norton's resistance represents the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. That means RN is equal to the series combination of R1 and R2, both connected in parallel with the R3. Therefore, RN can be calculated using the following formula. R1 plus R2 times R3 over R1 plus R2 plus R3. And if we replace the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain Rn is equal to 5 ohms. After finishing the determination of the Norton's resistance, we proceed to calculate the Norton's current In. The Norton's current is basically the short circuit current calculated between terminals A and B. The resistance R3 is short-circuited, meaning no current flows through the resistor R3. To find the short-circuit current I SC, I will apply the mesh analysis method. It's evident that there are two meshes. This is, is mesh number 1 and this is, is mesh number 2. And I will consider IA is the current in mesh 1 and IB is the current in mesh 2. In mesh 1, we can write IA is equal to IS. That means IA is equal to 6 amps. Now by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 2, we can write R1 times IB minus IA plus R2 times IB plus VS is equal to zero. And if we replace the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values and we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain 30 times IB minus 10 times IA plus 30 is equal to zero. Now by substituting one in two, we derive one equation in terms of uh, IB. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain IB is equal to 30 over 30 is equal to 1 amp. And from here, we can see that the short circuit current ISC is equal to IB. That means ISC is equal to 30 over 30 is equal to 1 amp. And we know that the current IN is the short circuit current ISC calculated between terminals A and B. That means IN is equal to 1 amp. The, Norton, the Norton's equivalent with respect to terminal, terminals A and B is a 1 amp current source in parallel with a 5 ohms resistor. After completing the calculations, I perform a simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. 
Here our networks drone in spy simulator. This is, is the original circuit and this is, is the Norton equivalent circuit between terminals A and B. I connected a load resistor between terminals A and B to both the original circuit and the Norton equivalent uh, circuit and then I will simulate, it, simulate their behaviors. And I connected here a voltmeter in order to measure the voltage across the load resistor and the number meter in order to measure the current through the load resistor. And also here the same for the Northern's equivalent circuit. Let's move on to analysis, DC analysis, calculate nodal voltage. We can see here that the voltage across the load resistor is equal to 1.43 volt and the current through the load resistor is equal to 714.29 milliamps. This is in the original circuit and the in the Northern's equivalent circuit the, the voltage across the load resistor is 1.43 volt and the current through the load resistor is 714.29 milliamps. Through simulation we can observe that the two circuits demonstrate ident identical behavior when connected a load between terminals A and B. This outcome confirms the validation of our calculations. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video about Norton's theorem. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,